Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day or the weekend, whatever that may hold for you. Hopefully you'll get out and get to your uh, church of choice. I'm going to read to you from Revival today. This is for August the 6th and uh, this is August 1875. The Music of Revivals. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. That's Ephesians 5, 19. Many of the hymns we sing and enjoy today were written during revivals. Many evangelists had musicians working with them in the campaigns, and it was natural for great songs to come to the minds of these gifted musicians as they heard Bible preaching night after night. Charles Wesley composed 1,500 hymns himself. During the Welsh Revival, over 1,000 hymns were written. Proper preaching and proper music always go together because they come from the same source, the Word of God. D.L. Moody returned to Chicago from traveling throughout England and America in August of 1875 and prayed about what the Lord would have him to be his next project. He felt like the Lord had laid on his heart to publish a hymn book of the songs he collected from Ira Sankey and Philip Bliss. With the help of these men and others, Moody soon published his hymnal titled Gospel Hymns and Sacred Songs. Music was a key element in Moody's campaigns, and he was thankful to have a new resource for reaching souls with the gospel and edifying the saints. When a church is experiencing revival, the congregational singing becomes vibrant and worshipful once again. And why not? Music is one of the best ways to express what God is doing in our heart. We even have an entire book of the Bible, Psalms, filled with the songs of God's people. Through its pages, we are often admonished, O come and let us sing unto the Lord, let us make a joyful noise. To the rock of our salvation, that is Psalm 95 1. We may not have a voice like Sankey or the gifts of bliss to compose the notes, but even a joyful noise is pleasant to our God. Sing the Lord a song on your way to work today, or maybe in a quiet place during lunch. As one little chorus puts it, it's amazing what praising can do. <laughs> Let's give this song a shot. My dad used to sing this years ago, so uh, let's see here. When I first heard of the people who claimed old time religion was real, I said I'll go down, take a look at the crowd. It's just the weak minded I found. I walked up the steps and I looked in the door The devil said, don't you go in I said, it won't hurt if I just step inside I'll sit as far back as I can But something got a hold of me Something got a hold of me I went there to fight, but oh my, that night God certainly got a hold of me. They sang like they meant it. They all clapped their hands. I said, it's emotion, that's all. When they get down to pray, then I'll get up and leave. I don't want to be here at all. But something got a hold of me. Something got a hold. I went there to find, but oh my, that night, God certainly got a hold of me. Just about then the sermon began, the preacher looked right straight at me. He told everyone just how evil I was, and he didn't seem to care much for me. I said when I went that I could not stay long 
that I must be home by nine. But I fell to my knees and the fire then came down. Though late I was feeling just fine. Something got a hold of me. Something got a hold of me. I went there to fight, but oh my, that night, God certainly got a hold of me. You know it when God gets a hold of you, don't you? Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. Lord, I pray that you would bless, Lord, bless these folks as they listen to this. And God, I pray that you would encourage and strengthen, give the help and the guidance this week that is needed, Lord. I pray to God that you would uh, encourage them, God, and give um, direction in the path that you would have for us to go. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. For those of you who are aware, our church uh, is helping along um, side of uh, Rehoboth Mission, where David Lute is the pastor. Russ Har got a hold of me, and uh, today at five o'clock at our church parking lot at Charity Free Will Baptist there in Clarktown. If you have some non-perishable items that you would like to donate, um, if uh, maybe you have purchased things. Um, um, they're going to have plenty, I think, of bottled water, but uh, it doesn't matter. Pillows, sheets, um, things like that. Um, food in cans with a pull top on them for the flood victims there in Kentucky. They are uh, taking um, um, toothpaste, toothbrushes, soap, shampoo, Anything that you can bring that you would like to bring, that's going to be at 5 o'clock today at Charity Free Will Baptist. They will pick it up, and then Sunday after Sunday school, uh, those folks are going to leave. I think they said they had a 16-foot uh, box truck and a 14-foot uh, trailer that they're going to be taking. So if you can do anything to help those folks out, I'm sure it would be appreciated. God bless. See you Monday.